As you know, we love to go skiing every uh, holiday season. So we go up to a place in Vermont and at the base of the mountain when you ski, there's a thing called the Waffle Hut. Yeah. The entire mountain smells like waffles and there is nothing, you feel like you're in Bavaria, there's nothing like the smell. And I just said to Carrie, uh, to Carrie, I'm like, this smells like the Waffle Hut. It transported you. It is the most amazing, <laughs> you know what waffles smell like in the morning? Well, yeah. these, this is, that times 100. Wouldn't it be nice if you could make them in your own house? Yes, you can. We have a brand new, World launch of a waffle maker, the most affordable waffle maker on the market today. Yeah. When you think about it, because they're a hundred bucks, who's going to spend that for a waffle maker? Right. Twenty four <laughs> ninety five is our New Year's price. It's five bucks off, and it's free shipping and handling. I'm telling you guys, easy to make waffles, fun to make waffles, any kind of flavor, any kind of stuff you want to put on it. You can make them sweet, you can make them savory, and Carrie is here to show you uh, how to do it. But here's the bad part. We only brought, <coughs> brought in a few thousand, so first come, first serve. Yummy. Oh my gosh, they come out <coughs> absolutely perfect every single time. It's what Holstein is all about, making it easy in the kitchen. And what we've done here is we did a regular waffle. Now your waffle maker is gonna come with 14 recipes inside so you can get as creative as you like. And also, the thing is, the new trend, because I know you're talking about waffling, is I, I say hashtag waffle it. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah. Because you know why? There are so many besides just regular waffles, which is what we're going to start off oh with right Lord. now. So good. Um, I'm going to let that just kind of slide right out. See and remember, it just it'll, it'll rise up when you close it, so yes, don't it overfill it. Don't overfill it. If you do, it. you can wipe it, but don't overfill it. Allow it to fill the little nooks and crannies. Totally full there, so I'm just going to actually do just a little, little bit more in the middle. Bit. There we go. And then when you get it right, you just kind of want it to slide over and like I was saying it's going to rise so see how it's filling in then we're going to close it the thing with the Holstein makers that I love is it's going to tell you the indicator light when it's heated up but what's new about this waffle maker that we've not had before is that you actually have a temperature gauge so you can go from minimum to maximum depending upon how you like your waffles just remember if you go to max it's going to cook faster on the outside so it'll leave it a little more, more tender, on the inside. tender on the okay. inside All and right. if you want it to cook more evenly that's when you want to go to a medium or, or minimum. So oh, we're going to let that waffle do its thing. Now it has a little ready indicator on the top Correct. too, right? It tells you when it's ready to, uh, to pop it in. Okay. But waffles mm. do not have to just be for breakfast. Okay. Waffles can be for dessert. Oh so we have made a brownie waffle. Chocolate Take your boxed waffle. brownie mix, right? So I'm going to bring this over here. And oh. because of the way that it cooks, it actually comes off in these nice little pieces here. Right. So I'm going to actually... So you're actually basically making four mini waffles here. Absolutely. So you can break. I'm breaking mine up I on purpose. I like it like that. It's kind of cool because then it becomes it becomes enough for four people or two people if they yeah, want. If you right. want to double decorate. Yeah, right. You can portion it. it out a little bit. Okay. okay. And then what you're gonna do is make it dessert. Okay. So now you've taken your waffle all the way through the day, and oh my goodness. You got to finish it with this. Yeah. And then we'll Maybe do Mark a little Gill bit of this. Mark Gill will come out here with something easy. Mark Gill's been squeezing stuff on. Th <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't have Ooh, a squeeze. Mark okay. Gill, you don't have a squeezy bottle on you. Get out of here. You can't come out. Okay. Look at how nice that is. So that took it to dessert. All right. I'm going to tell you, we are getting extremely busy. This is the first time we've ever had this on air. It's priced ridiculous. That's a waffle maker for $24.95. Listen, yep. my first waffle maker, $149.95. And I mean, I loved it. I probably used it five or six times a year. I used to love it at holidays and things like that. Right. You'll love this because it takes up no footprint. Uh, you'll use it all the time. You can make all kinds of things. You're going to make waffle... French, French toast. toast, right? So you're going to take your French mackerel. toast mixture, you're going to put it inside. So what I like to do when it's something that's a little higher is yeah, just do a little, a little press, a little squeeze at the beginning, but it's, as it cooks, it's going to settle down. It's so non-stick that's gonna push though, down. right, Carrie? So I don't have to worry. Completely non-stick. Okay. And what's fabulous about that, it means you can go from one thing to the next thing without having a lot of cleanup. So that I love. All right, what Talk you need to that. take a look at really quickly is something called Will It Waffle. Yeah. Uh, well, first, it's, yeah, it's called Will It Waffle, and then it says, yes, it will. This tells you everything <laughs> that you can waffle waffleize inside and it's a beautiful cookbook and I am telling you I went through this I'm like this is a really good you know for waffles this thing is ridiculous. You can grab this and uh, and it's a wonderful book and it gives you all kinds of great ideas. How much is this one Kyle? Oh, it's $14.95 right there. Okay. Look at that. Great book. So get this to go along with your waffle maker. Okay, okay Carrie, go ahead. That book blew my mind, by the way, because uh, the new trend it's is all heavy about heavy duty, serious stuff. Anything you can think of, you can put in here. But check it out. Did oh. you guys just see me load this only moments yeah. ago? It's already done. So I'm going to go ahead and take it and look at this. Nice and crispy and perfect. It peels right yeah. out. And maybe I want to do the other big trend that's 
pretty famous right now. Yeah. I want to do some chicken and waffles. Would you mind if I took one? Please do. I, I really want to try it, and I want to try it as it is. And I'm going to do some truffle honey, actually, that I'm going to put all over my waffles. Yeah. Do you want some on yours? Look inside. Yeah, give me a little. Oh, 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 yeah, that's beautiful. That too. Okay. But look inside, and you can see how tender and moist that is on the inside. Perfect. Look at how look at look at how beautiful that is. All right, we'll take a taste. Okay, so I'm gonna do it one more time. That's ridiculous. And you saw how fast, right? So you're gonna pop out your waffles really so quickly in the morning. So now I'm gonna start this one because we're gonna mm. come back and make another dessert in just oh a minute. God. So this one we're gonna come back to. And I just, I'm, I'm continually doing these so you can see mm. how fast this goes. Let's check on our French toast waffle, or our French toast waffles. That was fast. Hello. Okay, so we're already done. Think about making perfect French toast in the morning and being able to really mm. do something different. When was the last time you had French toast? that look like this the presentation is beautiful mm -hmm. and then you've noticed if I come over here I actually waffled my sausage too so you can waffle your eggs you can waffle your sausage I How? want to you... waffle some sausage you're like, what's happening what the heck look. and now she waffled her sausage I waffled the sausage you waffle everything all right guys. now you're blowing my mind now what did you just Ready? pull out of there what is that so this is a dough this is gonna be my waffle pizza Okay, so now I'm just gonna pop this in here, take a dough, I a filled this pizza. with sauce and cheese, and then we're just gonna, again. It's inside? Close, it's all inside. Okay, so this one you don't wanna press real hard. This one you just wanna lay it on top Let because it, it has, all, has all the stuff on the inside, so we want it to get it's nice a, and brown and white. It'll rise a little bit So too. we're gonna come back. All right, what else are we gonna do? Okay. So now, oh, let me check on these guys real quick. Oh my gosh, I want you to see, I'm gonna how give this another minute. But look how fast, we're almost ready for now. I'm gonna so come back to this in just what are a we moment. Talking? We're talking about four or five minutes for these, right? Yeah. I mean, that is ridiculous. That's for how waffle, fast you sometimes can do three, it. three minutes, three to five? Hash browns. Hash browns, okay? So there is nothing like when you go to uh, you know breakfast, look at this, what perfect. When you go to breakfast and the hash browns come out like this, it is an entirely different experience. And I can never get them like that in a pan. It just takes forever. You have to keep flipping them. You end up breaking them. Look at how clean the, the it is in here too. And by yeah, the way, you put a couple right of off. put a couple of fried eggs on that bad boy, and you are good to go. Maybe put maybe uh, waffle some sausage yeah. and put that on there too. You can do all this. Check it out. Now we're doing. What are you just going to okay. do? Some is this just potato? Are you just so having potato in there? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm probably putting a little more than I normally would, but that's okay. So you can do whatever size you want. Um, this is instant potatoes. So I made my instant potatoes, and I'm going to make waffle. Is it going to firm up? Waffle fries. Come on Waffle now. fries. So they're going to come out gonna look like, like that? this. All right. They are the most amazing, delicious waffle fries you've ever had in your life. So you're just gonna put them together, right, push this it? down, squish it, and then we're gonna come back in just a second and, and do How that. How are we over here? Are we okay, good? Do we need to check, check on anything? Let's check our waffle over here. Perfect, I'm gonna take this. Again, if you want it a little more toasty, you could leave it like an extra minute if you like. But yeah. these, let me check That's it and actually see. That's kind of right where you wanna be. What do you think? Let that looks see. pretty darn yeah, good. I can go with this. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna take one of them. Cause what I wanna show you here is actually doing a really interesting dessert. Take a little melted butter. These are very hot, so please bear me if I'm moving uh -huh. around a little bit. Okay, and then have cinnamon and sugar. Roll this in the cinnamon and sugar. And you yeah. just made, you smell it? I bet that's gonna be terrible. A churro. So you can actually <laughs> you make an entire churro. churro. Now, if I had uh, more time, I would actually cut these into pieces. I would cut these into sticks yeah. like you would with the churro. You made churros. That's just cool. There is for nothing me. like a delicious churro. All right, here's what I'll tell you. We're extremely busy, and I knew we would be. Hundreds of oh. you in the ordering process. This is free shipping. It's the world launch of Holstein's Waffle Maker. Um, honestly, even if you use this once a month or, or a couple times a month, you will. it'll pay for itself over and over. You can make perfect waffles. The issue that people have with waffle makers in the past, they're big and they're industrial and they're heavy. Mm -hmm. All right? That's a big problem. You don't know where to store them. You also really need to know how to use them and they need to be seasoned a lot before they're going to become really good nonstick. This has an incredible nonstick right out of the gate. Um, you will utilize this. I always, when I when I get a, a, an oven for the first time, okay. I use a little spray in the beginning. That helps to get it seasoned to the right part, and then you never have to do that again. But with this, you've got that great nonstick. You will love it. So, so the problems, again, with the big ones, big, bulky, impossible to clean because a lot of it is they're heavy duty. The, the iron plates are iron, and they get food stuck in them. These are easy. Mm -hmm. You don't know where to put them, right? You're not going to use something if it takes you forever to clean it and all that stuff. I'm sorry. Well, I had to, I'm sorry. Look at? how good. We're going to give that an extra minute, but I wanted to show you how gorgeous the pizza waffle's coming out, guys. We're going to come back because we I know that inside just needs another moment. Where am I looking so at? So as we're coming down, Which okay, one? I'm ready to blow your Joelle's mind again. Joelle's yelling at us to open okay. one up. Yes, she's like, hurry up. 
mac and cheese. <laughs> this is in the Will It Waffle book, okay? But all you're simply gonna do is make your mac and cheese, you're gonna let it cool, then you're gonna roll it in some breadcrumbs, and I want you to see what happens. It becomes the most delicious <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous yeah, look at this we can cut into this so it's ooey gooey on the inside but nice oh, and crunchy on the outside look i found a fork right here oh my gosh help yourself uh, and then what i want to point out because when we talk about ooey gooey Joelle's giggling over there look at how your grilled cheese i'm gonna flip out over this grilled <laughs> cheese make your grilled cheese sandwich just brush on it a little butter or olive oil whichever you prefer mm. place it into the maker oh boom in a matter of minutes you've got an amazing grilled cheese that you didn't have to flip or worry about in a pan that's so good isn't that amazing you know, I was thinking, you serve that with hot dogs or something, like on the side, and you have these little really triangles good. of this stuff. That'd be this really excellent. This is so good. We're getting there. These guys are working, so let's take a peek again. I just want to oh show you God. guys along the way how these are coming. Mm. So here's my waffle fries coming along. I said I put a little too much potato in there. All but right. you know what? You'll just make it about a, a spoon size, so like a teaspoon yeah. is wanna, perfect. Eventually, they're going to wind up looking like that. They're going to look like that when they're done. And what I want to point out to you, so bring this over here. These are they're crispy. Crunchy. They're yeah. crunchy. So it's got that nice, soft inside. It is just like a waffle fry or a french fry. We spend a lot of money for those in the store. Make them fresh. Make them at home. Make them yourself. So much fun to do. And and, and honestly, it's really great family time for you and your kids too, your grandkids. It's something where you can say, hey, you can go and get prepackaged doughs. You can buy like, yeah. um, like quick, you know, the easy uh, little cinnamon roll dough. You can buy that in a little tube and you can put those on there and you can make little waffle cinnamon rolls, pizzas, whatever. This is an actual pizza. And I'm, this I'm more curious about than anything else because okay. I want to see oh what happens when we open this up. <laughs> this is Okay, so, so this is what you call ridiculous and delicious. Okay, so here, you can, you can all both like kind of, well, you could cut it along the lines. And then you go, go, okay. you go that, you grab this side and okay. I'll go that way. So you can see how the... Well, oh. we probably should just tear you it. You do it, you do it, you do it. Tear it, tear it, tear it. Let me see what we got here. Okay, so you could put pepperoni in here. You could put sausage in here. Look at how ooey gooey yummy. So we would let this cool for a few moments. And when you do that, it's actually going to crisp up. Anything that you have inside of here, you, because he's te tearing it apart, it just came out. So you're going to let it, look at look at how hot, <laughs> look at how perfect it's this ridiculous. is. Look at how ooey gooey this is. Forget about those, you know what I'm talking about in the store ones that you buy that are already yeah, pre-made pizzas. Cool. Do this in your waffle maker. So it becomes something that you're using That's in the morning, dessert, lunch, you name it. Put chicken in here. And how about this? What? I'm going to come back for the, come with me over this you way. You go over there. I want, you, while you're doing that, you want me to say hi to Linda? Hi, Linda. We have Linda calling us. Hi, Linda. Linda's from Minnesota. Did Linda just buy this today? I just bought it today. I got a red one. Yay. Yay. I, I just love it. What are you going to make in it, Linda? You like traditional waffles? Or are you going to have fun like we are and do all kinds of crazy stuff? Well, Peggy and I, there's one of the ladies that you call in, she said we were talking about chicken and waffles, how we know it tasted chicken and waffles, and she said she liked desserts, and I said I do too, and I said we could order the chicken yeah. and make the, the, the waffles into a dessert. Well, now I can make my own desserts in the waffle maker. Yeah. You're going to love it, and, and Linda, you know what else is nice is that it's easy to clean. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You can make things literally, Linda, in like four yeah. or five minutes. Yep. You can make like brownies, cupcakes, hash browns, all that Fun stuff and of course waffles too. I like the dial on it that shows that it's uh Ready to go. The dial. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually, uh, you could do, you could do more minimum or more maximum depending upon what you want. So Linda, the thing you're going to find out and what I want to explain to everyone is depending upon what you're cooking is how long you're going to leave it in for and how you want it to be. So most waffles, three to five minutes as we saw, right. we went really, really quick with that. I kind of went through this 